Hi guys, welcome back to the Cosmic Revolution YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Maddie, aka Mad Juice, and I am an intuitive healer, astrologer, and empowerment coach. And today I wanted to do something, one of our really fun offerings. I'm gonna do an intuitive crystal reading. Uh, for those of you who have been on the channel before, you know this is something I like to do from time to time when we just want to get a little intuitive earth medicine, higher self guidance on what's going on, what do we need to know right now to plug into our highest self, into our truest path, into really that authentic alignment. Crystal readings are something that I would do at events in New York City when we used to do events. <laughs> But now it's something I've really learned to love doing on YouTube. And because we're having eclipse energy, I'm going to add a bonus. And I'm going to be pulling one of our cards from your note no, from your higher self deck, which is coming out in June. Um, this is our Oracle deck that I worked on with my business partner, Audrey. And they're just things that I channeled from your higher self to you. This is not about giving away your power to anyone else. This is about tuning into that voice inside of you. And so I'm going to pull those cards, um, and I want you to tune in. If you're watching this at home, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. As you inhale and exhale, imagining the world slowing down around you. Imagine yourself just coming into stillness and imagine all of like the energy from the day and the week just fading away behind you and coming into that soft and still place in your heart and just setting the intentions to just receive messages from this place. And I want you to think of a question, an open-ended question, you know, what does my highest self need me to know right now? What do I need to align myself with as we go through this eclipse portal? What's ending, what's beginning? What do I need to do or know to take really good care of myself? Or one of my favorite questions, what's my superpower that I've forgotten? Close your eyes and when you open them, you can say your name to call your power back to yourself. And I'm gonna show you three stones and you're gonna see which one kind of speaks to you the most, which one is grabbing, ooh, I burped, which one's grabbing you the most. So the first one, stone number one, is we have Aqua Aura. Aqua Aura, let's see if I can get the light on a little bit more. This is a great stone, um, blue, shiny. So one of my favorites, Aqua Aura. Then we have Mennonite, or this fairy stone, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a fairy stone. That's stone number two. And then stone number three, Aragonite. Aragonite, can you see? Beautiful. So we have stone one, Aqua Aura. Stone two, Mennonite, or fairy stone. Number three, Aragonite. So just seeing like which one's striking your curiosity, which one's kind of speaking to you, which one do you want to almost like hold and grab onto. And I'm going to read to you um, as part of the download, I'm going to read to you what's the actual metaphysical meaning of the stone, like what you look up in a book. But then also I'm going to read to you a little bit of the message and the download that I'm getting. Just like food, um, our body craves food when we're hungry for something specifically. Our soul will crave a crystal when it wants to work with the energy of that crystal, and then usually an extra little download will flow through, so I'll let you know that too. And then I'll read you the note from your higher self, and then you can integrate that, take it to your journal, take it to your meditation, infuse it through your day. Um, so let's see, so Aqua Aura first. Okay, so first of all, this is a stone about throat chakra medicine. This is a stone about speaking your truth, okay? Even when it makes your voice shake, especially when it makes your voice shake. This is a stone, um, it's really, the stone is blasted with heat and 24K gold dust to make it have this iridescence. So this is also a stone about alchemy and that you're going through something right now that feels like extreme heat, extreme pressure, extreme discomfort, but it's for your highest good to get you into that state of that shiny auraness. And also though, it's gonna ask you to learn to trust your voice, to speak up for your needs, to tell people what you you know desire, to have boundaries, maybe write, speak, start a podcast. There could be something about that involved in this stone. So this stone, I also wanna say, um, doing some chanting or working with mantras is a great way to open up your throat chakra. We do mirror mantras every Friday in our energy report newsletter. Um, but the thing, the energy I see in that is a great slipping away. 
like an old skin is being shed right now for you. So con congratulations. And let's see, ooh, I love this. Your card says too much is just enough. Does someone or something make you feel like you are too smart, too beautiful, too strong, too emotional, too much of something? Well, that's not true. Too much is just enough. So own, oops, a little dark to see that. Owning your just too much is just enough. I love that. Speaking up for yourself, being loud, taking up space with your voice. That's crystal number one. Crystal number two is this Mennonite fairy. This is a super unique stone, right? This actually comes from Ireland and it's a stone about deep divine feminine magic and connecting back into your divine feminine principles of your intuition, your creativity, your natural abundance, your connection to the earth. So this is a great time to focus on that. How can you allow your divine feminine to come forward more? This stone also, the message I'm getting is that you might be going through a deep healing or an understanding or connecting to a female in your family. It's almost like a mother holding a baby. So there might be a recommitting, um, reconnecting to yeah, a mother, aunt, grandmother, sister, cousin, um, but also could mean that like maybe you're experiencing like a, a reparenting right now of that. Um, and then the note from your higher self says, ooh, it is within reach. I love that. It is within reach. Okay, fantastic. So go after that thing. Think about what you're clearing, thinking about what the divine feminine wants to work through you. Think about like the healing or maybe asking for help or connecting to some of the femmes in your family, femme identifying people, and then just knowing it is within reach. Love it. Okay, and then my third stone people, Aragonite. Look how cool this is. It's like a little dragon burst of energy. I always picture it. So Aragonite is gonna be asking you like, First of all, it's kind of a quirky stone, but that's what makes it beautiful, right? Like it doesn't look like every other stone. So this stone is about owning your inner fire, owning your inner, that thing in you that just makes you you, that no one else has. And yeah, sometimes that fire can feel like a lot, but it's not, you can handle it. That's why you were born with it. So don't dull yourself, don't dim your light. Stand in this like aragonite. This is all about root, sacral chakra, it's like, being really grounded and secure in who you are and creating from that place, okay? My mother and fathers of dragons, that's that energy. And the card says, oh, perfect. Stop comparing yourself, sweetie. It says, comparison is the thief of joy. Let this card remind you to follow intuition over influencers. <laughs> so really, truly, like this is that, do your thing. Share your weirdness with the world, share your fire, share your heat, share your inner, that dragon energy. Um, don't fit in, okay? Don't try to be a lizard when you're really a dragon, okay? <laughs> um, so I hope this helps. Use this as we move through this eclipse. If you haven't watched my previous video, which is more about the astrology of eclipse season, and this is more of intuitive guidance of what you're tuning into as we enter this big transformative portal. So let me know which stone you picked. Let me know if it resonated. Let me know what's going on from you, with you. You know I love hearing from you. It like lights up my day. I love seeing your comments. So until next time, this is the Cosmic Revolution channel. Like and subscribe. New videos coming out Friday. I'm Magius. I am holding sacred cosmic space for you always. And I'll see you next week. Bye.